I'm Julie Bartke with Session Update. The Senate passed its tax plan out of the Taxes Committee on Wednesday morning. That bill includes an expansion of the sales tax to include clothing of more than $100, but a reduction of the overall rate to 6%. It also includes a provision to help pay for the public infrastructure needed for a multi-billion dollar Mayo Clinic expansion in Rochester. And that's a reason Senator Dave Senjum voted in favor of that bill. Right now, we'd like to show you some of the debate from the hearing. Anything else on Senate File 552 as amended? Well, Mr. Chair, I, I would just like to make a comment. Um, in opposition to the bill, I don't think that anybody will be surprised that I am going to vote no and that I would ask for a roll call vote. Roll call being requested, roll call granted. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, there's been a comment that I think got quite a bit of publicity that um, perhaps as a result of all of these tax increases, somebody around here might lose an election. Well, I think the consequences of this bill would be far worse than the change in a seat in the state legislature. There are Minnesotans that will lose jobs if this bill becomes law. That will hurt Minnesota families. There are businesses that will close as a result of a bill like this. There are employees that won't get increases. There are small business owners that won't start a business. There are businesses that won't invest in the state of Minnesota. There are customers that won't come to the state of Minnesota. This bill will have a devastating effect on our economy. We need to look at the fact that we already have an economic outlook that isn't that great. And to add these kinds of burdens on uh, electricity rate payers and on families that are trying to save money and invest for the future in their children's education, in their own education, in a new business, in investments, in the purchase of a home or a car. This will have a negative impact on our economy with a certainty. <coughs> and so I hope it's more that we're talking about than just an election or two here at the state capitol. We should be considering the costs of this bill and its overall impact <coughs> on Minnesota taxpayers, on Minnesota businesses and families. It will have a devastating impact, and I hope people will take it with the great seriousness with which this is being passed today. I am very concerned about our future with a bill like this. Thank you. Anybody else? Mr. Sanjum. Uh, Mr. Chair, I, uh, I, I have many, obviously, of the same concerns that Senator Ortman uh, has, has offered. Uh, uh, as we think about our state and it's going forward and economic prosperity and we've often talked about not taxing your way to prosperity but you, you put you unleash the uh, the uh, the business sector of our state and, and, and let it go and let it grow and it will if we let it and I, I do have fears about uh, that uh, relative to this bill uh, that said uh, I need to as a person as a member of this body uh, Refer to Article 9, uh, Destination Medical Center, in my view, the largest, most profound economic development project in this state's history and maybe perhaps even in this nation's history from the standpoint of a single project, uh, all 70 miles south of us in, in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, Mayo is proposing massive, as it's been said, investment, uh, $5.5 billion. Uh, in uh, more understandable terms, that's three Disney World's worth of cash in downtown Rochester over the next 20 years. That's a lot of money. Uh, 30,000 employees are a lot of uh, new employees that are going to be working in Minnesota, most specifically in Rochester. So uh, that's exceptional, and I have to support it. Uh, I will support it. Uh, I want Mayo's future uh, now and forevermore to be in Minnesota. and. Uh, and for that reason, uh, I will be supporting this bill. And thank you, Senator Senjum, and anything else, members? Uh, just real briefly, uh, we've spent the last number of years under this philosophy that uh, paying taxes is just a downfall of business in this state. But what I find the most interesting about this bill is that we have a community and the largest private employer in the state coming forward and asking us to raise the taxes in their community so that their corporation can grow and expand. I think that you ought to take that into consideration, members, in your decision on this vote. <coughs> roll call being requested. Mr. Clerk Chair, roll. one more quick We're comment, please. Senator Scoy. Uh, yes. Senator Bach. Yes. 
Senator Chamberlain. No. Senator Diedzik. Yes. Senator Eaton. Yes. Senator Coonan. Yes. Senator Marty. Yes. Senator <coughs> Nelson. No. Senator Ortman. No. Senator Reinert. Yes. Senator Rest. Yes. Senator Sinjum. Yes. Senator Thompson. No. By a vote of nine yeses and four noes, the motion prevails. The bill's passed. As Thank amended. you, members, for as your work. As amended. The final vote on this bill was nine to four, and it now heads to the Senate floor. Now, to follow the work of Senate Media Services, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.